I read recently in New Scientist magazine that several U.S. companies are outsourcing field tests of their nuclear reactors to countries with lower safety standards. That's just a win-win situation right there. Poor countries get a little cash and we get to freely goof around with some of the most dangerous creations mankind has to offer without worrying that we're accidentally going to blast the fanny packs right off any white Minnesotan families with two kids and a dog. I mean, this is a great deal. Worst case scenario, we incinerate a couple of million Nepalese mountain dwellers. Big deal. How much goat cheese or cash do we really need? Okay, I suppose worst case scenario, our international nuclear reactor employees accidentally create a black hole that sucks a billion people into some parallel universe where dinosaurs still wander and the Republicans make sense and David Hasselhoff is Grand Earth King. But what are the odds of that? Like 5%? 10% tops? Worth it. But really, this idea of outsourcing pollution and risk is pretty fucking crazy. Basically, we're taking countries who are poor, often due to our own foreign policies, and saying to them, here's a million dollars. We'll start shipping our cancer into your backyard next week. Here's, here's some military weaponry. Now, where would you like us to put the chance of nuclear fallout that you so kindly agreed to house? Near the orphanage? Good call. Kids, they don't know what the fuck's going on. They're not going to write any letters. Pleasure doing business with you. Just don't turn that thing on until we get out of the probable blast radius. Then you can go to town. By the way, if you accidentally reduce your continent to a glowing charcoal briquette, we're taking our money back. Just so you know. Anyway, that's been your moment of clarity for today. Uh, follow me at twitter.com slash Thanks.